we have our Healthy Food Happy You correspondent, Christopher Mira, who attended the 2010 Green Festival at the Washington, D.C. Convention Center. Christopher had the chance to interview some vendors working to make our planet a healthier place to live. Here are some of his interview with Christina Taccarini from Compassion Over Killing, discussing a healthier environment through vegetarianism. Hi, I am Chris and I am reporting from the Green Festival at the Washington Convention Center. Let's go. Hi, my name is Christina Takaranti. I'm with Compassion Over Killing, and we're here today at the Green Festival um, promoting vegetarian eating. Um, Compassion Over Killing is a farmed animal advocacy organization that promotes vegetarian eating as a way to create a kinder world for us all. We invite you to visit vegdc.com to find information on some of the best vegetarian eating in the area, and um, we also have a number of a number of items here talking about the environmental impacts of meat and animal products, encouraging people here at the Green festival to choose vegetarian foods. What's also really exciting is that we just recently launched a campaign to encourage Subway to incorporate more veggie meat options at their restaurants, including veggie deli slices like tofurkey or light life deli slices, um, as a way to have a more humane and um, healthier version of a Subway sandwich. Thank you again, Christina Taccarini from Compassion Over Killing. Our next vendor is Chris from Commercial Carpets of America, discussing environmentally friendly carpet and flooring. Hey, this is Chris. We're from FPA Channel 10. Could you tell us more about your business? Sure, sure. I'm, I'm Chris, um, the residential group manager for Commercial Carpets of America, Alexandria Carpet One. We're the only zero landfill flooring company in Northern Virginia. Right there, zero landfill facility. Um, we specialize in green floors, so we're here. I feel like I'm at home. We also have four lead APs, U.S. Green Building Council lead accredited professionals on staff, and Chad, who's a lead green associate. We stock green floors. Uh, we have green installation systems, uh, dust-free refinishing, uh, ways to reduce contaminants in your home, all kinds of stuff. And um, I'm showing people here when they come by uh, videos of my house that I've put on YouTube where I have cork flooring installed and radiant subfloor heat because they always ask me, how, how is this cork floor hold up uh, with pets? And I say, well, come here. Let me show you, we'll take a look, and then I'll show them the YouTube video. And they'll say, wow, if it can handle your dog, I guess it could handle my cats or, or whatever. Next, we have Abby Phillips from Novatees discussing Runa, a tea grown in the Amazon of Ecuador, and Sharon Greenspan discussing the awareness of food choices. Hi, I'm Abby K. Phillips, and I'm here representing Runa. Runa is a tea from the Amazon in Ecuador, from the Wayusa plant. Um, it is a tea that is high in antioxidants and doesn't have tannic acid, so it goes down very smooth. It is highly caffeinated, so it does give a kick, and it's a very, very nice tea. There are four flavors, the traditional, spice, citrus, and peppermint, and all four flavors, um, you can make them as intense as you'd like, but they go down very smooth. DC Green Festival, it's so great to be visiting. Healthy food, happy you. Since I've been here last, I've had a lot of great developments for wild success. I have a new raw food recipe book, and we teach things like how to make cucumber ribbons, delicious meal, and I'm really excited about my newest book called The Eating Your Way to Health Workbook. You might remember the last time I said that people eat because they're angry, lonely, tired, bored, stressed, and occasionally because they're hungry. So in this book, we explore all those reasons why people eat, and I help people to raise their awareness of why they're eating so that they can make better food choices and address their emotions appropriately and use food to fuel their body. So here at the DC Green Fest, you can see that I have a booth. I'm one of the exhibitors, and I'm really thrilled to be talking about my services for how people can make changes to eating healthier food. I do have a few products with me today, including this fabulous machine, which is called a spiruli. And the spiruli you can use to make zucchini pasta. You just take an ordinary zucchini, and you can see I have my last bit here, and you turn this around, and you end up making pasta. It's the easiest thing in the world. You can just eat it like that, just put some sauce on it. You don't have to cook it. I like to put topping on it. This is called Ramazan. It is a raw product. It's made with nutritional yeast and nuts and seeds and spices. And it tastes like Parmesan cheese. So you can just sprinkle it on top. Again, I'm Sharon Greenspan. My business is Wild Success. Thanks. 
Lastly, we have Kurt from Grow Solar discussing the use of solar paneling and its benefits on the environment and economy. Now we are with Kurt from Grow Solar and he's going to tell us some benefits to have a solar panel in our houses. Absolutely. Well, first of all, uh, solar energy is a great way to hedge against the rising cost of uh, energy from your utilities. So starting off, we take a look at your home, we evaluate your current consumption rate, and then we determine system size that you would use to offset either all or part of that. Uh, so part of the site visit is looking at your utility consumption. At that point, we get up on the roof, we take a look at the usable space we have for solar. We like to have like a south, southeast, southwest exposure with a nice pitch and very little shading at that particular point. So we're looking for a nice solar window that'll help uh, produce the most energy from the panel. One of the great um, uh, savings beyond just the energy savings is the actual impact on the environment. By reducing your consumption rate on electricity through utility, you're offsetting carbon monoxide that's generated from the coal plants that are producing the energy uh, for utility. So by doing solar for every kilowatt you install, you're offsetting almost 25,000 tons of carbon monoxide in the air. So again, a great benefit both from a environmental standpoint as well as a financial standpoint. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this program. This is Chris. See you next time. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Healthy Food Happy You. We would like to hear from you. Our website is www.healthyfoodhappyyou.com. Send us your comments as well to info at healthyfoodhappyyou.com. You can also join us on our Facebook page, Healthy Food Happy You. And remember, eating healthy is the key to a happy life.